When you build a quiz and articulate storyline, you can set up your result slide to include a review quiz button. In this course, it's right here. And when learners click it, they can cycle back through their questions and they get to see what they got right or wrong. There's this little banner down here at the bottom for each of the question slides. But the neat thing is you can show way more than just the right and wrong answers if you want to help learners understand more about a particular question or why they got the answer right or wrong. So let's look at how to do it. It's really easy. Here's a quiz question I've already set up, and we're going to click on this Edit button right up here to go to the Form view of our question editor. And right down here at the bottom, there's a field called Post Quiz Review. And if you enter anything at all in this field, like let's just enter a little bit of text here, and then save and close and go back to the normal view, see what happens down here in my Slide Layers pane? Storyline made a new layer for me on this slide. It's called Review. And that layer is what learners will see for this question if they happen to review their quiz results. Well, what's cool is this layer is just like any other slide layer in Storyline, which means we can customize it as much as we want to. Now, the design of the layer is coming from one of our Feedback Master layouts. So we can come up here to the View tab and then click Feedback Master. And here's the layout that's being used. This little box that you see, that's just a um, placeholder. This gets replaced with that caption box that contains you know, whatever text we typed into our question editor for the post quiz review text. But we don't have to stick with this. Like we could move this box someplace else if we want. We could add more stuff to this layout if we want, like some text or images or movies or sound. But I'm going to choose not to do that because whatever we insert here will appear for any slide layer that uses this layout. In other words, any quiz question where we provide some post quiz review feedback. And I'd rather make my review information very specific to each question. So let's close our master view. And when we come back here to our question, um, we'll see that the review layer now looks a little different. It shows the blue box up here in a different spot, right? Because we changed that on our master layout. But on this layer here is where we can start customizing. Like we could certainly, you know, modify this text some more. Like if we wanted to add some stuff or whatever, we could move it to a different place. Um, another thing you can do is just come down here to the timeline and turn that captions visibility off completely and then just design the layer from the ground up. So that's an option because um, the insert tab here, you know, works just like any other layer. So it's really easy to add content. Um, we could even add a video, which is what I'm going to do here. In fact, I'm going to just paste um, a couple of things that I created earlier, a shape and uh, some text. I'm going to use this as kind of the backdrop of my video. And I'm going to actually turn off the visibility of this character from my base layer because I don't need him on my review. So I'm going to come down to my timeline and click this uh, little triangle next to base layer objects. That's going to open up all the items from my base layer and I can just turn his visibility off. And now I'm going to insert a video. Um, I happen to have this YouTube page open and I like this video so I'm going to use this and um, I'm going to click share and then grab the embed code here because um, that's what I'm going to use to paste the video. So I'll do a little control C to copy that to my clipboard and then back here in Storyline I can come up here to my insert tab and then choose video and if I had a video on my hard drive I could use video from file but mine's from YouTube so I'm going to choose video from website and this is where I can paste that embed code in. So we'll go ahead and insert and now the video is on our slide and we can resize it or move it or whatever. So I'm going to put it right here and I think I'm also going to come up here to my options and add a play bar so that the learners can have some control over the playback of the movie. Okay so now our question is all set but we do need to make sure that on our results slide we've enabled that review quiz button that we want our learners to be able to click on. And that's something we can do really easy. We're going to switch over to our results slide come up to the edit button and then click options and then we just need to make sure that this box right here is marked where it says allow user to review quiz and it is so we're all set there and now we can do a quick preview and make sure things look okay. This quiz only has a couple questions so let's get the first one wrong and we'll get the second one right and now here's our uh, result slide we'll hit review quiz and now here's the slide where we modified the review layer. We're seeing that customized content where the character is no longer here. We see um, you know, our backdrop of uh, objects that we inserted and there's the video that we added to our slide. So it's really easy to customize the review content that learners see during a quiz review.